Hi guys, welcome back to True Talk with Angela and of course it's your girl Angela Lua. So today we're talking about light skin privilege. I don't really privileges that comes with being light skin. Yes, I'm a light skin girl since I was a very young age. I've had people talk about, oh, yeah, I love your complexion, your light, I love your skin, blah, blah, blah. I've had a lot of that. And also, I've had a lot of, oh, she got it because she's light skinned. Mm, she's not that good. They show that because she's light skinned. And really, I, I, I started thinking about it. Was I really sure for this thing because I'm light skinned or because I'm qualified for it? I started feeling like, indeed, probably it's because I'm light skinned. That's why I'm being chose. So I remember when I was in secondary school, we had the football um, team. Sorry, basketball team. They go to represent the screen basketball competitions. And this particular competition, they only needed two cheerleaders, like two people to go with the team to share them up. And luckily for me, I was chosen. I saw that I chosen one. For instance, the other girl was dark skinned and I was light skinned. And everybody kept saying I wasn't supposed to be chosen. It was just because I was light skinned. That's why I was chosen. That's never left my head because I felt oh I was chosen because I was a good dancer not because I was light skinned but nobody saw it from that point of view everybody felt I was chosen because I was light skinned so growing up I've actually come to realize that there is something called light skin privilege I'm not going to deny it but at the same time it doesn't mean that light skin gets everything they want because that is why most people bleach their skins because they want to be light because it's believed that light skin is like closer to white skinned well it doesn't still make you white you're still a black girl so somehow that is more societally correct or desired or acceptable yes so this is called colorism what is colorism colorism is when you we are all blacks right that i'm light skinned your dark skin doesn't mean i'm not the black is where you prefer a a light skin of the black race so the dark skin of the black race that's colorism and i want to say somehow it goes both ways there was this competition that i put in for it was like a competition where they were trying to represent the black culture so we we were asked to put in for this particular competition to be the face of the brand so luckily for me i love things like that but i decided to put in for the competition because i knew i had everything i needed to be the face of the brand except the color i was light skinned at the end of the day they said they wanted a black skinned person to represent the black culture and at that point i felt like because i'm light skinned does that mean i can't represent the black culture i'm not white i'm black and right now you're telling me i can't represent my culture because i'm light like it felt like does being light make me less black really but at the end of the day, it doesn't make me any white. I can't say I'm 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 closer to the white people or anything because I'm light skinned. So really, I realized there were actually people I meet, and they just believe everything I've been able to achieve, everything I have is just because I'm light skinned, and that is very painful. But I just had to understand the assignments and protect myself from bad energies. Really, because I don't know why you think I have this because I'm light. I don't know why you really believe I can get everything I need because I'm light skinned. Like maybe when people approach you and they're like, oh, you you like this, you have a boyfriend, blah blah blah. And I'm like, does this mean everything will come easy for me? I have a boyfriend, I don't have a boyfriend, that doesn't have to do with light skin. And I've met a lot of guys that actually tell me that oh i don't like dark skin girls i only love light skin girls like i can date light skin girls even though i'm going to date a black it has to be a light skin girl and i'm like okay i'm not gonna say anything about that it's what you want i can remember meeting a guy and of course there was this chemistry between us and everything and the reason why he couldn't be with me was because his father doesn't like light skin girls like it's believed that light skin girls are spiritual like they have bad spirits they are mermaids or witches or whatever you know what that superstition is <laughs> anyways we didn't 
like bond because of that point and it also happened to my sister she was with someone and she went to visit the family house of who she was talking to at points in time and the mother of the guy literally told her to leave the house and later on the boy or the guy was telling my sister it was because his mother doesn't like light-skinned girls that's why she reacted like that to him which is all right so now let's talk about the light skin privilege i don't really privileges yes there are privileges that comes with you being light skinned because somehow being light skin makes you look softer more feminine more approachable than dark skin girls this is a really sensitive topic but i want to make it as light as possible because i really don't want it going to be colorism is what creates division between black women of light and dark skin light skinned and considered to be beautiful because of their color like i've heard a lot of uh if she wasn't light she wouldn't be beautiful it's because she's light and when you're trying to compare a light skin and a dark skin dark skin who is finer and someone is saying she just fine out because she's like her why like why she's beautiful she's beautiful they are beautiful black ladies out there are beautiful black skin friends very beautiful black skin friends shout out to Penny, she's one of them and nobody says it's because she's dark that's why she's beautiful nobody says that once she's dark and she's beautiful she is beautiful like really but for light skin you still want to put your butt you just believe it's because she's light skin that's why she's beautiful okay let's make the beautiful dark skin get light and let's make the beautiful light skin get dark if that's what you want <laughs> I remember some time ago there was this award they wanted to give the most beautiful in a set and okay I was one of the nominees they nominated me for most beautiful and the other girl they nominated was a dark skin girl and there were a lot of oh I won't go far because she's light skin well I emotionally won it but people she won because she's light skinned okay this is arts yes we are not denying the fact that there is something called light skin privilege but the worst part is having guys approach you and actually asking you the question if you are a mommy if you like they belong to i don't know like i can't count seriously i'm chatting with someone in my dm and the person just talks about he doesn't want to or to me, he doesn't want to say something, he doesn't want to offend me because light skinned girls like this, they are, they are scary. Most of them have powers. Most of them, oh my god, like really? You guys should stop throwing those kind of shit at us. We love our culture, we love we love to be called black. I'm proud of it that I'm a black girl. Somehow, it's like I'm not worthy of saying I'm a black girl because I'm light skinned and really it has made a lot of light skinned want to want to claim the western culture and want to act like the western people because really somehow it's like it's expected from them to act like they are white i'm not white i'm black so if if if, if i say if i speak english and you catch some intonations from where I come from, I'm, I'm, I'm from Ndo states, Akoko to be precise, so, and I grew up in Akure, so there's high probability that when I speak, there's the intonation from Ndo state there, and you feel like, oh, he, that wasn't expected from me because I'm light-skinned, like, it doesn't make me any less black, and there's this lot of expectations because you're light-skinned, Okay, you get a question like are you giving birth in nigeria is your are you mixed and all those kind of things i don't know how other light skin feel about feels about this but i've had a conversation with some light skin and i think a whole lot of light skin are really proud of being black and a whole lot of them at the same time are not being themselves because they want to embrace the western culture and just blend with pretending to be white i'm a light skinned I love to rock my natural kinky hair. I don't like to put on a bone straight and look white. I don't like to do makeup that makes me look white. I don't even like makeup. And I, lo I love to speak my dialects when I have to. And I don't like to speak the Queen's English. No, I don't like to twist all my tongues. Oh, la, 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 la. 
I like to be myself and be normal. I'm a black woman. That's what I'm gonna say. Keep saying that I'm a black woman and being light skinned does not mean you shouldn't be able to represent the black culture. It doesn't make me any better than a dark skinned black lady. We are all one. We are all one. And this is me saying it again that yes, there is something called light skin privilege. Yes, there is in jobs, place of place of work, in schools, in a whole lot of places, even in relationships. Yes, there's something called light skin privilege. It happens, yeah, it happens. But my point is when you see a, a light skinned lady talking somewhere, you don't have to think it's because she's light and she probably used her body to get to where she is, or she probably used um, you know, a sham to get to where she is. Some are hard working light skin girls are hard working so you don't just assume when you meet any light skin girl you don't just assume that oh she came from wealth because she's light skin a lot of people are going through stuff a whole lot of stuff a lot of people are trying to remain decent girls but you know everybody just misinterprets them and nobody cares Anyways, I hope you understood the message I was trying to pass across to you because we've come to the end of this video. I don't want to make this video a really long one. I just said I should pop on the top. Really long one. So guys, thanks a lot for staying with me and I love you all. Have a happy, happy life.